What's up, man? 25 Gamers. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Blitz of the Day episode... Uh, 23? Eh, I don't know. Uh, episode something. And it's a Sugar 2 Buzz. A lot of people know about these Sugar Ds. But uh, it's an easy Blitz for those of you who don't know. And uh, let's, talk, let's talk about it. So Sugar 2 Buzz. All we have to do is call the play. We don't have to adjust anything. So I'm just going to come out. And I'm going to call the play. And you guys see you're getting that left edge pressure. But there's certain things we can do to make it come in a little faster. So what I like to do with this play is I like to base a line. I like to shift my linebackers to the right. And I like to call press coverage. Actually, I don't like to call press coverage. I lied. I'm an idiot. I lied. All right. All right press coverage. You saw what just happened there with uh, the DT. He moves in a split. So just manually move this guy down. I don't know why I didn't remember that. But yeah, this is the blitz. You just set up the left edge. But again, this is this is common. A lot of people running this. Um, now there's nothing flashy about it. Uh, the reason we shift the linebackers to the right is so we can set up right edge pressure. So simply by re-blitzing the right outside linebacker, you know we'll send two-way uh, pressure at the running at the quarterback. And so now there's going to be the block a running back, but now it still comes in. So you see, it's it's an easy scheme to run. There's easy ways to get pressure out of the nickel normal this season. Uh, and a lot of people are taking advantage of that. So, so when you move him down, I mean that's really that's the only that's probably the best way you can make this blitz come in fast. Obviously, you could quarterback spy both of the guys on the right side of the line, and uh, you're going to still get that pressure off that left edge. But obviously, that's extra steps you may not want to do. Um, which is perfectly fine. You know, a lot of you guys, some of you guys have trouble with just baseline and shifting the linebackers right, and that is no problem. You know, I had trouble with that. I didn't even know what baseline meant uh, until Madden 13. So, uh, obviously, guys, there's a lot of things we can do with this play, but the basic concept is to just slide that DP off the left edge there, send it off the left edge, and then you're going to shift those linebackers to the right to send it off the right edge, and then you have become the basics of making a defensive scheme. But that's all I wanted to show you out of the Blitz of the Day. This is just something that you can use tonight to have a cover two blitz that's going to send pressure off the left edge thank you guys for watching i apologize if there was any problems with the video please let me know if it's um, if it's getting better if it's getting worse i'm working on it i'm trying there's not a whole lot i can do right now um but obviously i am open to suggestions anything you guys suggest i will certainly think about it. if you have any questions about anything madden related or just any questions at all let me know i'll try to do the best i can to help you out in any way that i can and also guys feel free to uh, share this video on twitter uh, maybe some people don't know about the nickel normal. I don't know, but it's obviously a great avenue for you guys to get involved in the Madden community. Also, last thing, real quick, for those of you who are new to my YouTube channel, if you guys haven't watched a lot of my content, I really recommend you go watch the beginner tips. Uh, it's a video I did a little while back. It's, I think it's like one or two weeks ago. Talked about the beginner basics of Madden and uh, everything you need to know with the controller. So that's video one. We got video episode two coming out later this week, and we'll be talking about it a little more. But thank you guys so much for watching and giving me an opportunity to share with you for a couple minutes on, on a Monday morning. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.